Happening now, the city of Longview is cleaning up after a, a bout of severe weather. The National Weather Service says it was likely a wet microburst. Uh, that damaged four buildings along 14th Avenue. Microbursts and tornadoes both bring strong wind, but unlike uh, the convergent rotating winds of a tornado, microburst winds spread in all directions when they hit the ground. Yesterday, the National Weather Service also issued a special weather statement warning about possible hail and land spout tornadoes in cities like Lake Oswego, West Lynn, and Oregon City. Let's bring in Storm Tracker 2 meteorologist Rhonda Shelby, the expert on what it is, because anytime we see these videos and the mm -hmm. damage, we're like, Rhonda, mm -hmm. what is it? Yeah, yeah and she so, can explain the difference for us. And the National Weather Service will go out and investigate the debris today and give us a better idea of what it was. But let me just give you an idea of what the difference is between a microburst and a tornado. So a microburst, we do see these quite often, but they're often confused as tornadoes. Short duration, two to five minutes at the most, small area under three miles usually gets a microburst, and it's a sudden downdraft that actually just becomes so dense and heavy in a thunderstorm of up drafts and downdrafts that it just moves straight down really fast 80 to 100 miles per hour accelerates spreads out in all directions when it hits the ground horizontally and that could do major damage also very dangerous to aviation you know obviously so weak tornadoes are what we normally get that last under two minutes that have just scattered debris thrown around and that is of course when you get that that horizontal tube of air that forms after wind shear and then it's lifted up vertically and becomes either a funnel cloud that doesn't reach the ground which is very often here or a small tornado so